there are almost 4 million people out there now with diabetes and they, about 40% of them don't get the recommended standards of care, the eight checks that they should get every year. And less than 10% of them get any education in their condition to be able to help them manage it successfully to avoid these appalling complications of stroke and heart disease, blindness, amputation, kidney failure, all very serious conditions and very expensive conditions that put huge pressure on people and their families and the NHS. With the right standards of care and the right education, people could live long, healthy lives and avoid these complications. And that, for me, is a bit of a no-brainer. We shouldn't be spending £10 billion a year on treating the end stages of diabetes. We should be putting more money into the early stages and enabling people to live healthily. Because it's the complications that develop from people with diabetes that are really putting this huge pressure uh, on the NHS and causing rising costs. So we've really got to deal with the proper care for that, that 4 million people who've already got it as well as helping people avoid diabetes because type 2 diabetes is eminently avoidable.